What do you have to do to get kicked out of the Commons Chamber? Often it's using unparliamentary language, like calling a colleague a liar. But today it was rowdy heckling from this man, Tory MP Paul Bristow. Controlled immigration looks like. All they've got to do is wake up tomorrow morning, listen to the headlines, and see what this government. Order, order. Mr. Bristow, I think you're going to be leaving. I'm, I'm asking you to leave now because otherwise I'll name you. I'm not having it, and I've warned you before. It's the same people. And the same will happen on this side. I was in the chamber at that moment, and you could feel the change in atmosphere. Now, tomorrow, we're expecting to see the publication of record immigration numbers. So today, Keir Starmer tried to announce new policy in that very area, changing the minimum salary levels when granting visas to foreign workers. But it all got rather lost amongst his jokes at the expense of the Home Secretary, who won't now face an ethics inquiry after allegedly asking civil servants to arrange a private speed awareness course. So why does he think his Home Secretary seems to have such a problem coping with points-based systems? <laughs> but fear not because speeding into the void left by the Prime Minister comes the Home Secretary. Yeah. The Home Secretary may need a speed awareness course. He needs a reality check. Yeah. Now, Labour advisers argue they are determined not to concede ground on the issue of immigration. But the PM responded that his government was doing far more than Labour would, including a new policy this week. The biggest ever single measure to tackle legal migration, removing the right for international students to bring dependents, toughening the rules on post-study work. Whilst we're getting on with clamping down on legal migration, listening to the British public, he's quite perfectly comfortable wanting to say that he wants free movement back. Elsewhere, the Prime Minister was asked about corruption allegations concerning a multi-million pound redevelopment in North East England. The Tees Works um, affair Honourable friend, the levelling up secretary has already announced uh, an, an investigation into this matter. About claims some schools are supporting pupils to socially transition, changing names or wearing clothes to match their gender, without informing parents. Will the Prime Minister instruct the Department of Education to order schools to stop indoctrinating our children and to concentrate on their duty of care to protect them? It is absolutely right that schools are sensitive in how they teach those matters and that they should be done in an age-appropriate fashion. The Department of Education is currently reviewing the statutory guidance and curriculum. And he was also asked whether taxpayers should be putting Boris Johnson's legal bills for Parliament's Partygate inquiry. Why can't he stand up for the British people? It's actually a long-established process across multiple administrations that former ministers are supported with legal representation after they have left office to deal with matters that relate to their time in office. Immigration was the main focus today and it will likely be the same tomorrow. We're expecting those record immigration stats to be published at 9.30am.